Sometimes it loads fast, sometimes it takes seven minutes or more. I don't expect to fall. <laughs> Actually, I don't. And I didn't expect Sentencia to fall. Good. What are we starting with? Yeah, it's shit. It's a shit outfit. I put a lot of things into my warden to get it here. <laughs> At least it's free. I don't know why they didn't give us a helmet. I mean, why not give us a helmet? I don't know. Okay, stuff here. Yeah. Why didn't they? Hello, Bob Space. Why didn't they give us a helmet with this outfit? Oh, and there's uh, sometimes a bug that you uh, that I'm using Aesop and I only see like 12 ships. It's new too, so I have to do it again and then I see all my ships. The Klima will be hard. Flicker. Hello, Tom's Marcos. Klima will be hard. I mean, I would, I don't, I didn't, I didn't claim my reclaimer to, I mean, I would have to suicide back to area 18. Okay, it can be done. But let's, let's start with a few where we have easier access, I would suggest. Yeah, we will see how it goes. <laughs> Last time it didn't go very well. <laughs> Three and a half hours and one ship tested last time. Okay, hang out, hang out twelve flicker. Coming? Are you coming? Oh, you, you you had your own elevator, okay. Didn't want to share my elevator. We are doing some ballistic tests. Different ships. Let's see how it goes. It's a fat fairer. So, let's see, I find it really funny that there are some comments on my Spectrum threads about missile tests with new ballistic shield penetration and about Nova tank with new ballistic shield penetration. There are some people who seriously seem to think that CIG has it all figured out. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, we are in year 11 and now Master Modes is a new big thing that will fix everything. Why, why, I don't know why people don't see this, that CHE has nothing figured out. They are still in the dark. <laughs> and I love it to start a freelancer or Miss Starfarer. She doesn't want to lift off. She is clued to the crown. <laughs> okay. I mean, she is lifting off a little bit. You can see landing gear extending. <laughs> Maybe I have to give boost or something. 
Okay. I mean, she is lifting up, but then she stops because ships are glued to the ground to give the impression of mass. Okay, I can. Okay, now it worked. Now it worked. One day, can I hire you to balance my... No, you cannot hire me to balance the game. I'm not good at game balancing. I don't think I will be good. But I, you don't have to. You can see when something is not well balanced without having knowledge. I mean, I, I can tell you if music is good or bad, even though I cannot play any instrument. I can tell you if someone plays a violin good or not good. I mean, in limits, if someone is really bad, I can tell you someone is really bad with the violin. But I don't play a violin. Hello, Rayfox HD. Okay, let's jump to demo. Yeah, Starfire has a very small quantum jump marker. And still spooling. Yeah, I guess, I guess there won't be a new patch this year. I guess no one is there, or <laughs> most people are on vacation, which is fine. Just bad that we have this strange ZTK bug. <laughs> Thanks, Rayfox HD. Yes, there are a lot of funny videos. I don't, sometimes you can find a lot of outros without even trying. Right now, Nova Tank, Nova Tank tracks don't move, even though the tank is moving. <laughs> so Frick Flicker, what is your prediction for Staff Hera? How many hits? I think Starfarad needs a second size 3 shield. Two shots? Okay, Flicker writes two shots for Starfarad. How many? Okay, I, I don't have my shot up now. Okay, now we need daylight. There aren't many, I, sh I just started. <laughs> okay, Chad, how many hits for a Starfarer with Nova Tank? How many hits to destroy a Starfarer? <laughs> yeah, my videos are very, uh, sometimes my videos are serious. Okay, I thought it would be daylight at Shubin, but it's not. It was, uh, okay, it looked like it was on the daylight side. But it wasn't. Okay, let's find an OM marker. It might get daylight, not sure. Okay, Brian wrote, he thinks, three. Quantum 
Flicker wrote, does anyone else miss the naked man in the Starfarer cockpit reflections? Well, he wasn't really naked because nothing in this game is really naked. But yeah, this was funny. Don't even know where this came from. You could see a guy in underwear as a reflection on Starfarer cockpit windows. And everything is really, really delayed. Quantum is, if you want to go into quantum, it's really delayed. Maybe because it's a PTU patch, or maybe because PS, don't know. Prime board, well, I haven't flown a staffer. Oh, you're missing a lot. This thing is sluggish. Very well, sluggish. <laughs> Not a lot of fun to fly. And it takes forever until, until this thing actually stops. At least we have refueling now and everyone is using refueling all the time because it's such a fun mechanic. Oh no, this is not where I wanted to fly to. Okay, it is. Yeah, I try not to flick a road, don't bounce on the deck. I try not to bounce on the deck. I think it stops much faster in atmosphere. Fairer. At least in Starfarer you don't have to move your fuel one SC you create at a time. <laughs> like in a reclaimer, where you have to move your cargo one SC you create at a time because we are in the future. Yeah, where conveyor belts are not invented yet. And automatic compactor don't exist either. Do you also stream on, on Twitch? No, I, I didn't stream. I don't stream on Twitch yet. Maybe I will, but I'm, I don't stream often. It's just for fun. It's more fun for me <laughs> if I stream a little bit. There are surprises parked. I think we landed. Looks looks strange, but I think we landed. Okay, let's get a Nova tank for Flickr. Yeah, thank you very much. Rob Space Road, I enjoy your videos. Make sure you stay away from the two elevators in that ship. You mean Reclaimer? Yeah, Reclaimer is bad with elevators. I once wanted to Reclaimer at Invictus. Ah, and if you are walking too close to the ladder, you are climbing up because it's fun. Okay, Flicker is already outside.
Oh look, the ramp is moving the whole ship up. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Vicar, um, you know, if you're if you're driving in direction I'm facing, there's this no armistice zone. I showed this to you, I think, a few days ago. It's very easier because you don't have to drive down this clip and might flip your vehicle. I found this by accident a few weeks ago, that there's an armistice zone on the plateau. My camera constantly ejected me most times I touched an elevator. Right now, Carrick elevators are really, really nice because some of those elevators are not usable at all. So there's a double elevator, but second elevator is rotated by 180 degrees. And now there's a slap in your way. You cannot even use those elevators. And P. And vehicle selected. Stand by. Spawn. Okay, let's take a look. Tracks are not moving. Let's let Ficker drive a bit. Those tracks are not moving in this P2 patch, but Tank, but tank is moving fine. <laughs> That's too funny. Okay, Flicker started up. Look here, tracks are not moving. <laughs> Can see everything this game is made as cheap as possible. You're driving into the wrong. Okay, you are turning around. No, Flicker, you are. This is the wrong direction. You have to. You have to drive in this direction where I'm facing. There's this no armistice zone if you just drive along where I'm facing right now. Look, tracks not moving, tracks are stationary. But the cockwheel on top is moving, the wheels are moving, are spinning, but track is stationary. <laughs> I mean, okay, you can you can say, yeah, it's a bug on the PTU, but it shows us that CHC is faking this. The tracks never touch the ground. They are just moving. It's, it's a fake when they are moving. The tank can move fine without tracks moving, because faking everything is fine, I guess. Did I hit the button? Such a K? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Flicker. I might be okay because I was not, I was not in a cockpit. I might not fall through elevators. Okay, I'm restarting my client. This is a good start. Flicker was in the seat of the Nova tank, so Flicker might get problem with elevators now. Shit. I don't know. Yesterday I tested three ships in 20 minutes without 30k, and today 30ks are back, which wouldn't be so bad, but after 30 case, your character is falling quite often through elevators and 
there are not, not many ways to fix this. There's, there's a hawk in area 18 that you can enter, and if you are able to enter this hawk, then you are fine again. So the key wouldn't be so much of a problem. The problem is that you are falling through elevators when you are in a pilot seat or yeah, when you are in a driver's seat or pilot seat when 30k happens. So Flickr might have a problem now. Hello, Captain Mas. Have you tried chips versus water in 3.18? I wonder if they enter soft dev or hard dev. No, I haven't tested this yet. I guess they will still get destroyed. Even vehicles still get destroyed if just the wheels are touching water, quote unquote, water. <laughs> Okay, we are loading back into the game, then I have to check if I can use elevators. People say this only happens when you are in a driver or pilot seat and you get to 30k, but maybe it happens even when you are not in a seat. Sometimes the game loads in less than a minute, sometimes it takes seven, seven minutes. They will blow up, I'm sure, and sink, so you can't loot. They might be able to salvage them underwater, I don't know, but I don't think it's interesting, because if you really want to salvage, you can spawn a ship at a space station, deactivate shields and spawn your vulture and salvage your own ship. Yeah, PTU is still not open, right? So I guess there won't be a PTU patch this week, and there won't be an open PTU this week, most likely. Flicker, are you still here? I don't see you typing anything. Okay, loading. I'm in the space station. I will check now if I can use elevators. I might just fall through. No, I'm fine. No! Okay, Flickr, this is wrong. It's wrong that you are fine when you are not in a pilot seat. That's wrong. I was not in a pilot seat. I was, I was outside. I was about to, yeah, I was clicking on open ramp. I was outside. So it's not about the pilot seat. So this, this theory is wrong. What we can do now, we can try to suicide to area 18 and get into the Hawk, which I would prefer because I spawned, I claimed, a lot of ships to Dream Station. I would have to do it all over again. So first I will revive in Dream Station, then I have to set my spawn back to area 18, and then I have to die again. So Flickr, this is not, this is not about the pilot seat. Actually, this was quite interesting. It's not about the pilot seat. I was, I was outside the Starfarer when, the, when 30k happened. So the pilot seat theory is wrong. Yeah, so the worst thing about is there won't be a new patch until next week. And this is really a critical error. And just, yeah, you just have to recopy your account. Uh, this doesn't really cut it because you might have spawned or claimed ships at the space station, for example, and you have to do it all over again. Another problem is that, that suicide doesn't work well either. I suicided, I mean, I had to suicide. Okay, it worked. Okay, I'm back in Dream Station. There are two workarounds that work. First is you have to recopy your account. 
which I want to avoid. Second workaround is in area 18 there's supposed to be a hawk and when you can enter this hawk and exit you are fine again. Okay, I'm setting my spawn to default which is area 18. So now I will suicide and hope I will, I should now, so I should now be in area 18. Yeah, Flickr, this had nothing to do with pilot seat. I, I, I'm really surprised. So it's not a pilot seat. Okay, this looks like area 18. Now I don't really know how I can get down. And Flickr, where's this hawk? This hawk is at the plaza, right? Astro Armada. But I will fall now through this elevator in the clinic too, right? I'm in area 18 clinic. Flicker is typing. I have to fall down onto buildings. Can I steer this somehow? Okay, I just try. Okay, so far I'm fine in this elevator actually. Okay, now I'm not fine. I didn't move with the elevator. <laughs> this doesn't look good. I'm falling now through environment and I die. I'm way too low. There's nothing here on this level. Okay, I guess I have to try again. I don't want to recopy my accounts and Claim all my ships to the space station again. Yeah, I'm, I'm way too deep. There's nothing I can fall to. I have to suicide again. So I have to kind of steer my character to a building, okay? <laughs> I don't even know in what direction. At least I revived quickly. Yeah, we did this two days ago. Two days ago we, wanted, we did the same test we did today. We managed to test one, ships, one ship in three and a half hours. One ship. Okay, I try not. Maybe this elevator is easier. Okay, I have to fall onto buildings, but I don't even know in what direction I have to fall. Okay, let's try. Okay, this looks good, this looks good. Yeah, come on, please, no. I cannot fall onto buildings. Those, ha those buildings have no collision flicker. I don't, okay, I, have, I haven't done this before. I don't know in what direction I have to run, have to walk. Now I'm too deep again. I'm way below where there are any buildings. This sucks. CHA is adding insult to injury. You get a 30k and then you, you cannot use your character anymore after a 30k. Felka, how is your progress? I'm now on my third try. So the problem is I don't even know in what direction I have to jump onto a building. This, this here, this has clipping. If I would know 
in what direction I have to jump or to run, then it would, would help. Flickr recopied. Okay, I want to I want to try this. I know it's possible, but I don't even know in what direction. No, I did this with, with Arena. Uh, I did this with Sentencia. It didn't work. Arena, Flickr wrote try Arena Commander. I did this with, with Sentencia. It didn't work at all. Okay, now I have clip. Recopy, recopy, I don't know. I actually had clip on the roof. Then I was falling down into the walkable area, but then I just clipped through. And now I'm too deep again. Okay, recopy doesn't work. <laughs> okay, I'm recopying my account. Should take shouldn't take too long. But it sucks because I had my ship spawned to Dream Station. Flicker, where did you spawn to? Did you choose Area 18 again? Did you, al did you already choose Area 18? I mean, we could try Lovell and test on Hurston. Flicker is typing. Okay, I will select Lovell. Okay. Okay, I'm starting my client. Maybe it's already copied. Starting PTU with new character. Okay, see you, see you, Brian. <laughs> Chris Hopper sitting back in a spa in Bahamas, laughing his head off. No, I think I don't think so. I don't think Chris is laughing at us. It's just very unfortunate, very unfortunate that this happens in the holiday season. So no one is working on fixing this right now. Okay, it seems, yeah, it's a good, the only good thing is that copying account is quite quick. Yeah, I have to, I have to go into the game first before I can accept any friend invite. Love it. Intended functionality, generator coding, yeah. I don't know why you changed your icon. I have. I don't like any racist things or making fun about Jews or whatever. 
So I don't know, maybe if you are Jew, then it might be fine if you have an icon that says Jew. If you're not a Jew, then I guess you want to make fun about Jews, which I don't like. So you might want to change this icon, unless you are a Jew. I think I have to get into the game first before I can see any French request. I'm loading into the game. I'm not, I'm not, I'm German, I'm not, I'm not tormented by Jews. Please stop this. You are, you are walking on a really, really thin line. I hate racists, I hate Nazis, I hate people who make fun of Muslims, of Jews, of whatever. So please. Okay, I'm in Lawville, I'm going back to menu and I will accept your invite. Oh, I'm already back. Flick, I'm already um, going back to menu. Sorry. Didn't see this. I mean, I tried to get back to menu. Okay, now I'm going back to menu. Okay, I accept your friend request, friend edit, and your party request. Okay, we are ready. Let's see if we can get something done. I think I will just spawn my ships from yeah, from, from Lawville. It's bad when I have to get back or when I get killed, I have to go all the way back using the metro. Still, I think it's a better idea than spawning like 30 ships to a space station and get a 30k again. Or what do you think, Flicker? I mean, I'd rather ride the metro a few times. At least I can get all my ships. I can even get a reclaimer here. Maybe, maybe we should start with a clearer or something. Or, no, let's start with a star theory. You should set your spawn to, what is this? What is the space station? Is this Everest? Should set your spawn there if something goes wrong. So this is pretty much similar to <laughs> two, two days ago. 40 minutes, not one ship tested. Yay. So anything happening? Loading persistence. Okay, this sounds good. Loading persistence. Task long wait. Genau, exactly. Task long wait. I'm waiting long. You can fit 22 SEU in the Vulture camp. Did it last night. All sellable. Viable like that, 170k per load. Yeah, I have to check how much you get from, let's say, salvaging a Hercules. I think, yeah, I did a bit salvaging, not much. And I got like three SCU and Hercules was nearly, was not even close to be done. It, was, it wasn't even half a Hercules and this got me three SCUs already. So I guess you can get like 10 from a Hercules, 12. It's quite a bit actually, but I have to <laughs> have to complain again. 
I find it incredibly stupid that you have stand up and that you have to stand up all too often and move those crates. Come on, we are even today, even for decade for decades by now, we have conveyor belts, we have machines. But no, in the future you have to move your cargo one by one. Because it's the future. It's even worse with the reclaimer. <laughs> you need one guy. I mean, you can still solo a reclaimer. You can solo it. But then you have to move the cargo crates one by one. I mean, I understand CHG likes to promote group gameplay. But this is silly. We still have elevators opening into nothingness. And the, the funny thing is right now, you can sell all the cargo, even if it's still in your reclaimer. One day you might have to move your cargo. No, one day you will have to move your cargo out. So you have to move the cargo via your main elevator out to sell it one day. <laughs> that's, that's just, that's so bad. I don't know why not, why not more people complain about this. I mean, it's. I love good PvE content. I love good group gameplay. But having to move cargo crates, one SCU at a time, when we have conveyor belts and automatic compactors for decades in real life, this is just. this is so terrible. I don't think it will be easy to find someone who wants to move your cargo. And I still think that the Vulture, even if Reclaimer has stronger or better salvage lasers, I still think a Vulture is a much better idea. In theory, you need like four or five people for, for a Reclaimer. I mean, you can still solo, but if you want, want to do it more most efficient, you need five, four or five people. I don't think one Reclaimer is faster than four or five Vultures. And it's a lot easier to use it. You don't have to wait for anyone. You can just spawn your vulture and you can just salvage away. Okay, I'm in the space part. Yeah, I, I don't like and theater, I don't like ideas that are totally off, like, oh, you have this handheld tractor beam and you can move cargo crates, even if those have a mass of 1,000 kilograms. Uh, if you would have this tech, then we wouldn't need metros, we wouldn't need all this shit. So we have old tech, we have tech. This game doesn't even have tech we have for decades in real life. But then we have those super, super tractor beams where no one knows where they are, how they are supposed to work. Yeah, you have to, you have to get down every two cargo crates to move them. And we have now snap into place, something I really like. This game needed snap into place. But the snapping looks totally artificial. I mean, other games have snap into place too, but it usually looks better. And here, the cargo is really snapping into place. Snap! And this looks a bit silly. Okay, I spawned a reclaimer. Flickers leaving area 18. I can already try to find a spot with light. Or, or to be honest, it doesn't really matter anymore. <laughs> that was, I think it was 10. 
Yeah, ten. I think it doesn't really matter anymore. If we get two or three ships done, it's good enough. Oh, I almost walked outside. Oh, now I clicked the wrong button. Yeah, bravo. Okay, one more time. And CRG said they fixed the bug that exterior is not loading, but no, it's still in the game. Flickr, what do I need to set my spawn? Um, no, I, actually, you don't really need to set your spawn. We will get a 30k anyway. It's $10. Hello, Chris Sinclair. It's $10 for the other. No, CRG said, I think it was in 3.17, they fixed the bug. Elevator doors only open after exterior spawned in, and now it's back. You can still fall through elevators. Got a sub for elevators. Now it's 15. Chris Roberts. Chris Roberts again. Has very, very steep prices. I mean, if he would, if he really, if he really would have those super, super duper tractor beams that can move cargo, one ACU crate at a time, cargo that weight, that has a mass of 1,000 kilogram, you can just have it in your wrist. Why do we have stairs? Why do we have ladders? If we have this super tractor beam tech that doesn't even need batteries. Hmm, that's my problem with this game. You have so much old tech, you, but you don't even have tech we have for decades in real life. And then you have those super techs that don't make sense if you know something about laws of physics. So that's a bad combination in my book. Seriously, if we have the super tractor beam tech, why do we even have stairs and ladders? Come on. Starting up a ship takes forever too, or do we have another city key? It's like a house beaming looking. Do we have another 30k? I cannot start my ship. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I am willing to give it one more try. One more try. And then I think it it doesn't make sense at the moment, Flicker. There's so much there's so many things I want to test. I want to test distortion guns too. So many things. And it's not about the 30K. 30K isn't a, that big of a problem. The problem is after 30K, you are usually falling through elevators. Sad excuse, isn't it? <laughs> Chris Sinclair wrote, starting a ship is $10. Chris Sinclair, how much is not getting, not getting a 30K? How much is this? This would interest me much more. Not getting a 30K, Chris Roberts. How much do I have to spend? 40K. <laughs> 40K. No, I, I mean, I'm, I'm not mad at CRG. Flicker, I'm, I'm just starting, I'm just looking if I can enter elevators, okay? I will, I'm going into the game. Oh, no, no, I'm not going into the game. Can you, did you, did you delete your, did you recopy it? Did you recopy? Flicker? Okay, Flicker recopied. Okay, I'm recopying too. I think I cannot... 
I cannot enter elevators anyway. Yeah, Flickr sir, or chat sir, so many things I would like to test. I would like to test distortion guns too. I would like to test other ballistic guns. But at the moment, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Okay, I recopied. So Flickr, <clears throat> if we are getting another crash within next 30 minutes or so, I will call it a day, I think. Uh, what do you think, Flickr? See how we go, okay. <laughs> I need to <laughs> I need to buy the Legatus, no more 30k package. I'm I'm not mad. It's it's a PDU patch, 30 Ks are to be expected. The problem is that we have the silly bug that when you get 30 Ks that you are usually glitching through elevators. So you have to recopy it. The, that's a bit annoying. It's not it's not CIG's fault. I'm not mad at them. Okay, maybe it, I already recopied. I tried. But it doesn't fill me with confidence to test a lot at the moment. <laughs> that's that's the thing. I've seen people one guy made a video about salvaging solo in Reclaimer. He must either have the best luck ever or he has a lot of patience. I mean I wouldn't make such a video at the moment. And with so many 30Ks. <laughs> and I don't know if it will release in March, but I don't really think January. Yeah, I mean, it's it's norm normal that a PTU build is messed up. It's just very unfortunate that we have this other bug at the same time. Chris Sinclair, why don't you fix your game? Why don't you fix your game? You don't need your holidays. Okay, I'm selecting Lawwell again. <laughs> Title bet level, too low to play. <laughs> There might be some interesting things with distortion too. CHE did something with, did things with distortions too. Distortions are not supposed to kill or to affect coolers anymore, but they might still do. And if your power plant is affected by distortion, it might be down for five minutes. For five minutes, which is which is, which is really crazy. I mean, you are dead many times over in five minutes. Okay, I'm back in Lawville. I mean, you don't have your power plant. This means you don't have propulsion. You don't have your guns. You don't have your shields. How are you, how are you supposed to survive five minutes? Should fix your 30Ks. Okay, you tested this. Distortion still kill, kills coolers. Is this true? Distortion still kills coolers. I heard something is wrong and distortion still does kill coolers, which is a bug when it happens, of course. By the way, we have another, I call it bug, problem with this build. It's not so important because 
you cannot play anyway, but if you are changing your ship loadout, for example, you put in different guns, different shields, different quantum drives, and you have to claim your ship, it is back in standard configuration. Which is not a problem because you cannot play anyway because of 30 Ks. I hope, I hope that's a bug. Oh, okay, it was a joke. But it could Captain Master wrote no camera making a joke that coolers will be the first component to die from distortion. But it can very well be true. <laughs> it can very well be true. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if coolers are the first things that die, even though they shouldn't. But yeah, I find it a bit harsh that your ship is shut down for five minutes if your power plant is affected. Gone Dark Road. Is it true? If you get scanned with a dead body in the ship, you get a crime stat fine. Flicker, is it true? When you have a dead body in your ship, you get a crime stat when you get scanned? Kill, no, kill, I, I mean, no, I mean kill in, in the sense of shutdown. Okay, Flicker wrote, not sure if you have a dead body in your ship, but it turns your ship red. So it's not a good idea to have a dead body in your, why do you want to have a dead body in your ship? <laughs> Gone dog. Gotten dog. Why? Just kick, kick the dead body out, throw it out. Okay, yeah, you're right. Stop ships despawning. Okay, but I guess ships won't despawn so easily anymore. CHG has increased the three ships vehicles limit, right? Something I haven't tested either, if you can spawn more than three things now, I guess. Yeah, the thing is, if, if distortion is affecting your power plant, your power plant will shut down for five minutes. Five minutes. You have, you have no propulsion, you have no guns, you have no shields. <laughs> I mean, you are dead in less than five minutes. You are, you are dead in less than a minute. Getting a star ferrule. Captain Masrod has smiled a lot watching your videos. Thanks. <laughs> you can capture a live NPC and put it put him on your ship. Tracker, are you again in area eighteen? Okay, why are you back in menu? I'm in Lawville. Are we crewed? Uh, we forgot to group, I guess. Can you add me now and can you come into my server? Okay, I added your friend request. I accept your friend request. Is there room on my server? Because I forgot, I forgot to group up. Sorry, and I already spawned a starfarer. Is it true that people can steal your ship if they are standing next to you? You can glitch into almost any ship with an interior, even if doors are closed. There are ways to get inside ships. And if someone is in your pilot seat, he has total control over your ship. The only thing you cannot do, and I find this crazy, because there are actually... There are actually things built in. If you steal a ship, you cannot ask for permission to start to open hangar doors. Only owner can this. Party members cannot do this either. So there are some mechanisms built in, 
And I don't know why CRG doesn't use the same mechanic for making sure that no one else can use your ship. For example, if this wouldn't be my ship, even if I would be grouped, I could not ask for hangar doors to open. But everything else, you have full control. Flicker, I'm already trying to find something with daylight, okay? I hope it's quicker. Sorry, I just saw your friend invite. We have to check if we are grouped. Yeah, and this thing doesn't want to lift off. CRG is using this trick that when landing gear is down, ships are glued to the ground to give impression of mass. And sometimes the clue is too strong. Look here, she is doing something. Yeah? She is doing something. But now she is clued. No, it's not, not my prompt it's not it's not my proximity assist. This is this just happens with this ship and sometimes with freelancer, everything else is fine. I can lift off. Look, it just takes a while. Hello, friendly space dragon. Okay, I try to find something. Yeah, like I mentioned, CRG is usually gluing your ship to the ground when landing gear is down. Doesn't always work. Sometimes your ship Thank gets, you. sometimes your ship gets blown away anyway, and sometimes the clue is too strong. Okay, I'm just flying, let's say, a bit away to a space station or something. Yeah, friendly space track. We are at it now over an hour, and so far we tested zero ships. We had two, two thirty Ks. <laughs> okay, Flicker finally spawned. Are we grouped, Flicker? I see a one only. Yeah, and after each 30k you kinda have to recopy because you're falling through elevators. And, and some people said it has something to do with your pilot seat. If you are in a pilot seat and you get 30k, you are falling through elevators. But it's not true. I was outside my starfarer. I was not. I was nowhere inside the ship and still 30k and I was falling through elevators. Server wasn't cooperating two days ago either.
think I don't really care anymore for daylight. Just to make sure they are called HDMS. HDMS are those spots where you can spawn a vehicle. Okay, Flickr Road, it looks like we are partied. HDMS. Yeah, HDMS is where you can spawn vehicles. I'm flying to this one. HDMS or Pare. Person Dynamics Mining Station, yep. This is a pretty one, I don't know. I hope it's in daylight, but I don't care. Actually, I don't care anymore. <laughs> I wrote you picked the pretty one. Why is this one pretty? Okay, it's, it's night and I don't care anymore. Let's just go HDMS or Pari. Or Pari. I don't care for looks anymore. I, don't, I want to get some things done. No, I just want to get some things. Look how HL this thing is. Come on, roll, 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 roll. You can do it, roll. Yeah, you can, you can boost your, your gamma, then you have night vision, but we might get night vision anyway. Todd Peppy wants night vision, so we will get night vision in 2039 or something. Todd Peppy wants it. Actually, I like Todd Peppy. He is one of the few who doesn't, who is not talking out of his ass. Todd Peppy is one of the few people on videos who doesn't tell lies. I like Todd Peppy. Seriously, when I see Todd Peppy, I get impression that he really, really wants to make this game and he doesn't talk, he doesn't tell lies. And I like this. When I, when I see Sean Tracy, he is, or Chris Roberts, or Aaron, I wouldn't believe them if, one, if they are saying one and one is two. And I don't hate them. I don't hate Chris, I don't hate Sean Tracy, I don't hate Aaron but they have told too many lies over the years to me. Okay, what did Todd Peppy say about the coffee vendor debugger? De de bagel? I cannot remember what he said. I think he was actually right. Okay, why am I, I'm strafing up, why am I, am I thinking? I think he was actually right. It's important for the future of the game, the coffee vendor. Okay, let's just land here. Okay, I'm spawning a tank. By the way, this is really nice. I've never been here. Do we have another 30k? I did my game crash. I cannot leave my seat. I cannot change my <laughs> flicker. I 
I cannot change my view. I cannot move my character. Did you crash too, or are you fine? No, but I cannot do anything. Okay, Flickr tries to unstuck. I'm in a I'm in an armistice zone. You cannot unstuck me, and I'm in a pilot seat. Flickr, you cannot punch me. I'm in an armistice zone. I mean, what what is this? Is I cannot change my camera to a third person view. I cannot move my vision around. What is this? Doesn't look like a crash. Maybe Toby will fix it. Okay, now my game crashed. Okay, I might be able to get back into the same game. Yeah, another thing, we have a lot of crashes. I hardly, I very rarely crash in 3.17, but in this patch, I have a lot of crashes to desktop. Yeah, buy a Mosh, Captain, Captain Mus wrote, buy another ship camera, could be the problem. Buy more ships, it's a solution for everything. Buy more ships. I'm really proud of myself. I didn't buy a Galaxy. Which was actually an easy decision. I mean, seriously, CRG, CRG is selling us a Galaxy with, hey, she will have modularity. CRG, short video. Okay, server is full. I tried to join this server. Okay, maybe I found a spot. CRG, is selling us a galaxy with, hey, she has modularity. CIG, you didn't give any facts about modularity the last eight years. There's a video eight years ago where CIG showed modularity with Caterpillar. Yeah, where is the modularity? Where is it? <laughs> Got to sacrifice your big toe to Sandy Roberts. I mean, <laughs> I find this really a hard sell. Okay, I'm back. I'm back in my Starfarer flicker. It worked. I'm back in my Starfarer. Yeah, I mean, this was really a hard sell to sell, to sell a ship with modularity when CRT doesn't give a fuck about modularity the last eight years. <laughs> this is this is this is oh, this is. Terrible marketing, too. Okay, now I see, now I even see that we are partied. We are partied. I don't think anyone will steal my ship here, but I will close the ramp anyway. We might actually get a galaxy before modularity. Otherwise, it will be a long fade. Okay. Didn't I land? I landed close to the blue building. I'm sure I did this. Cannot see anything now. Yeah, I found. Oh, no, mix. Mix showed me this old Caterpillar video. I didn't even know this video. And this looks so nice. You can have different modules. You can have barracks. You can have, you can have a clinic. You can have so many different modules in, in Caterpillar. And it looks, it looks really, really nice. The sad thing is, it's all for nothing. It's all a big joke still. I mean, we might get modularity. I'm sure we will get modularity. But I don't see it anytime soon. <laughs> they would release a ship without modularity, that's modular, surely. Come on, did I, did I click on cycle? Or do we have another 30k? Yeah, it's all 
I mean, how can CIG sell a new ship with modularity in mind when they don't give a fuck about modularity for the last eight years? <laughs> But still, they sold a lot of galaxies. You could see on the RSID how the money they made went up, went skyrocketed. Thank you. Okay, I'm spawning a Nova tank. I'm getting an error message. I'm position zero in the queue and landing pads are full, but they are not full. And I'm I'm in the queue, I'm in the queue at position zero. Try again. You think the staff are no? This shouldn't matter. It never mattered. Okay, Flickr Road Starfarer is too close, but this never mattered in the, f in the past, Flickr. Actually, I parked my ships quite often right in front of the pad and it didn't matter. Okay, Flickr wants to move my Starfarer. This is new because I know I parked my ships quite often very close to the vehicle spawn pads without any problems. Yeah, Origin 404 must have landed on the pads. Yeah, friendly space dragon. But I try again, maybe it's just an error. It's currently full, please hold assignment. All pets are full. Okay, Flickr is moving stuff out of the way. Let's try again. This would be funny if this would be the solution. Oh, now, now my Nova tank spawned without... I didn't even have to spawn it again. So Flickr, you were correct. How did you know this? I always park my ship very my ships very close to the landing pad. Is this something new? Flickr? Some people already saw it, saw it, but we have some new people. There's a new bug with the Nova tank. I mean, it's not a bad bug. Nova tank is moving, but tracks are not moving. You can see the wheels spinning. You can see the Altler spinning, but the tracks are not moving. Nova tank is still moving fine. I wait until Flickr is driving the Nova tank a bit. I want to show this to the newer people. There were still several meters between my starfarer and the vehicle pads. I don't know why this happened. Okay, Flickr is now starting up the Nova tank, and you can see that tracks are not moving, but wheels are moving and Nova tank is moving. No! Okay, uh, Flickr, this tank works! In this tank, the tracks are moving. Okay, that's funny. We had one before. And yesterday, my tracks didn't move. Okay, I spoke too early. Some tanks work. Thank you. Please visit Flicker, you landed on a tree. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so much for physics. Look, this mighty tree, this big mighty tree is carrying the weight of a starfarer. This is a one tree planet. Look here, this tree can carry a starfarer. Wow, this must be a special tree. Flicker, you parked on a tree, and now I don't get a prompt. Okay, I have to, I have to jump, I have to jump. Okay, okay, I got a prompt. Another thing I really hate, you cannot climb up. You cannot climb up. In real life, I could do this. Um, Flicker, we still have a problem. Since Starfarer is parked on the tree, the ramp doesn't extend low enough, and I cannot jump, I cannot jump onto it. We might have to spawn something smaller. This might work. I'm not so sure if Flicker can, can get the tank inside. I might be able to climb onto the tank. This is all Flicker's fault. <laughs> no, it's not, not, it's not her fault. It's, it's hard to see the tree and it was dark. Okay, I'm climbing onto the tank. Don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move. Can you climb onto the tank? Can't. Can you climb? onto the tank. I can't. Do we still have this bug with the co-pilot seat, co-driver seat that you are clipping out? Oh, Flickr watch, you cannot get close enough. Okay, so this idea is dead anyway, if you cannot get close enough. Maybe, maybe you can move the Starfarer a bit. Can you move the Starfarer? Because no mass. No, it just doesn't work anyway because Flicker cannot get the tank close. Okay, Flicker, uh, I can spawn something else. What, what could fit? What could fit? Can I get through the, is there a docking collar on the top where I can, for example, I can get in a sm into a small ship, I can land on top and I get into the docking collar. Does this work? Okay, don't do anything. I'm leaving the tank. No, a tank doesn't work. Tank doesn't, cannot get under. Starfarer has a docking collar on the top, right? Welcome to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. Okay, I'm getting a 100 eye and try if there is a dock. I'm checking out if there is a docking collar. On the top. Docking collar underneath doesn't help me. Or does it? 
Okay, I got the 100 I. Yeah, that's not a thing. I mean, we have we have this fancy tractor beam that can move cargo that has a mass of 1,000 kilogram, but we cannot jump up one meter. One meter is too much for our character. Cannot do this. It's impossible. Oh, at least this thing has lights. No, it has no docking collar at the top. <laughs> Maybe I can glitch into the turret? Thank you. Then please visit here. Do you think I can glitch into the turret? Just clicking on the prompt. Does this still work? Okay, Flickr will Flickr says I should sit on the canopy and Flickr will pop me inside. I mean, I hate it when when games think. One meter is too much of an obstacle for a person. Okay, I cannot get up here either. Maybe you have to sit in the pilot seat and point down. A walkway, yeah, we can try the walkway too, this might work. You have to strafe a little bit to left or right because there's a, there's a thing underneath you. You have to strafe left or right a bit. Okay, stop, 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 this could work. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, one more try. Uh, wait a second. I'm using set. Okay, I'm seated. Kinda. Okay, that's new, he's not moving with, with the ship. When you turn the ship, he was still looking in his original direction. I mean, he's moving with, with the ship when you are moving forward, but when you were turning the ship, he was still looking in original direction. Those are some very, very strange physics. Okay, this didn't really work. Maybe I can't reach the catwalk. No. No one is inside. 
The problem is it was dark and Flicker landed on a tree. He couldn't, she couldn't see the tree. And this tree is holding up the Starfarer, which is so silly. Yeah, you cannot get your wanted eye underneath here. Okay, Flicker wrote she can get to catwalk. Okay, let me tap it. Okay, I'm seated. Okay, I was, I'm falling through. I'm now sitting on the boom, on the refueling boom. Yeah, I'm falling. Yeah, I cannot, I cannot make this. I don't know. Maybe I should suicide and get another, another staff error. I don't know. Yeah, the boom is in the way. Yeah, you are, there is room in theory, but there is no room. No, you can't, you can't do it. There is not enough room. Yeah, that's a very strong tree. Starfarer, friendly space taken road. Starfarer has a mass of 3.5 3 million kilograms. But this tree is holding up the Starfarer. Yay, physics, physics. I'm out of ideas, Flicker. Okay, I suicide and get another ship. And you wait here. Okay, another idea, Flicker, another idea. I can jump out of the door onto the catwalk. Maybe this works. Where is your 100 eye? Where are you? Okay, I'll get inside and maybe you can position the one of the eye above the catwalk. Maybe I can jump onto the catwalk. Good idea. Come on, open. Okay, let's, let's try this. I'm inside. This is a very strong tree, friendly space dragon. I <laughs> sense an explosion coming. No, I think Flicker cannot get... Can you just get above it and I, I try to jump down? If I die, then I die and come back. Don't make it so fancy. Just fly on top of Starfarer. Oh, no, it has this... Uh, no, it has this, this silly... Shield. Oh, this might work. Can you... Okay, okay. Can you a bit more and strafe a little bit to the right? Little bit to the, little bit to left, strafe a little bit to the left. Okay, let's try it. I try it. If I die then I die. I didn't move okay, I didn't move to the left side. My character was moved to the left side. Okay, I, I, I come back. Top doesn't help me. Top doesn't help me. My character was thrown reverse to my left side, but I didn't move to the left side.
I guess we can try the spawn limit. I'm suiciding back. I can summon a buggy, but buggy doesn't help us. I don't think a buggy does help us. Or maybe Flicker sitting on the canopy of a of a buggy and you are driving close and I'm I'm sitting on the canopy of a buggy. Do you think this could work? Flicker, should I spawn a buggy? Flicker would no. Okay, Bucky doesn't work. Crouch at the ramp. Okay, I'm crouching. I <laughs> can't jump on it. Okay, Flicker is on the catwalk. I don't know how Flicker made it. Flicker is on the catwalk. How did you make this, Flicker? I didn't see it. Okay, Flicker managed to get onto the catwalk. Oh. Okay, we Flicker fixed it. Well, Flicker fixed it and Flicker made it a problem in the first place. <laughs> Same thing, it takes forever for a Starfarer to, li to lift off. Okay, this low, uh, there's not a tree. There's, can you strafe to the left? Yeah, more to the left. This should be, this should be okay, just land. looking good. By the way, for those who are interested, dynamic door alignment was on the 3.16 roadmap. December last year, dynamic door alignment, but it's gone. Flicker, this was a very good job, but I don't want to praise you because you, you, <laughs> you made this mess in the first place. <laughs> but it, it wasn't your fault. It's very hard to see those trees. It's dark. Yeah, she doesn't want to strafe up. Strafing up? No, it takes forever. Okay, Flicker, um, just leave. I missed the stone. I missed the stone and I follow you. And she is strafing down even when I'm in neutral. We are still in Amethyst Zone. Or oh, I'm still in Amethyst Zone. And there's a big hill in your way. Maybe we should try it in this direction. Does the Starfarer have VTOL? Not really. Okay, it's fine. Float in front of the tank, okay. 
I guess the tank is outside Amistice Zone. I'm still in Amistice Zone. Wow, this thing is sluggish. Oh, it's wind. Okay, yeah, this is outside Amistice Zone. You are correct. Okay, I'm starting a new recording so that I don't have to search for this little bit of recording in a two-hour video. Can you kill the lights? I can lower a bit. Okay, flicker road, this is good. We have now a staff fairer. Safe status is still broken. Okay, flicker, fire when ready. One, shield front 19. Wow, two shots for Starfarer, two shots. <laughs> okay, Flicka, what do you want next? We should use this to test the reclaimer. Because we can use this opportunity now. Do we have a Discord? Yes, I might post a link about this soon. I have Discord. Okay, um, my free lock is gone. I cannot look around using the mouse. I have no free lock. Sometimes it gets fixed when I use Toby, actually. Let's see, let's check it out. If I can fri fix free lock when I use Toby. No, Flicker, I don't have free lock. <laughs> I can move around, I can turn, I don't have free lock. No free, free lock. And Toby doesn't fix it either. Usually Toby fixes this, but even with Toby I have no free lock. I can use F4, I can move around. But in first person view, my camera is locked to one spot. <laughs> that key doesn't help. I'm suiciding again. I mean, it was to be expected, Captain Mass, that this patch is very rough. Sketchy is introducing a lot of new things. PS is, is expected to be tough, to be rough. Still don't have, I still don't have free lock. Is, can you hit the key that gives you free lock back? I can look around, I can move my head in third person view. In first person view, I don't have free lock.
Fricker, I am going back to menu. I try to return your server. It's almost like Evo didn't test a thing. Oh, Evos are testing a lot of things. Evos are reporting a lot of things. I think I can say this without breaking NDA. But don't expect that CHG cares more about reports from Evo from Evos than about reports from other people. Was it because you died in a command share? No, because I died. I tested ships yesterday. I died a few times. I didn't have any problem. Okay, I went back to menu. I'm still in this hospital screen. Now I'm back in menu. No, I'm not the only Evo, Evo testing anything. Actually, to be perfectly honest, server full. I tried to turn your server. I'm not testing that much in Evo actually because those patches are very rough. Okay, trying to join your server, Flickr. I guess uh, CHE wanted to make it look like we get two patches this year and CHE doesn't fool me. We only had one patch the whole year and pushing 318 onto the public PTU with one doesn't cut it. Okay, Flickr, I've, I spawned joining. I'm logging back in. See, so I actually pushed this patch out so that, that they can say, yeah, we got 3.18 in 2022, but no, you didn't. We don't have 3.18 in 2022. It's a very rough PTU patch. I can tell you there are people who are very dedicated and test a lot of in Evo phase. And then there are people like me, okay, I'm honest now, who just cannot deal with very rough Evo patches usually. So I'm not testing that much in Evo. Rough patches are to be expected, but it's just not not exactly fun to test a very rough patch. Okay, I'm back into a uh, fl flicker. My look is back. I'm back into the game and my look is back. I didn't, uh, yeah, but seriously, I didn't hit any key. I'm now moving my mouse around because it's natural because we could always do this. So, why was my look gone? My mouse look. I don't get it. I don't even think there's any key that can take away your mouse look. <laughs> this was so strange. I couldn't look around. Okay. Interior of elevator didn't load in. And now I'm going back to ground floor. I'm trying to get a reclaimer now. Sometimes there are some patches, not on public, where you get a 30k like every five minutes. <laughs> and there are very dedicated Evos who are still testing and then there are people like me. I can't do this. I can't I can't test in a very rough patch. I'm not that dedicated. I'm honest. I do a few tests. Even on Evo, but there are people who are very dedicated, who are spending hours a day. Okay, I'm, I'm going back to the spaceport. I'm getting a reclaimer. We had very, very strange bugs. I never had a bug that I woke up in a hospital and couldn't move my mouse look. Couldn't move around, couldn't look around. Next stop, Tisa 
spaceport. Three eighteen might be even very rough on release. Who, who knows? Tisa Spaceport, please watch your step when disembarking the train. Yeah, Frederick Space Dragon Road for Glimmer got trust as buffed, so it's actually possible to leave a planet without boost or strafe up and without VTOL mode. Let's see if it's true. Let's see if it's true. Okay, I'm in the spaceport flicker. Is it getting daylight flicker? I mean, it's still fine, it's still fine, if we are testing at night. Just curious if it's getting daylight. Not yet, okay. Welcome to the ASOP Vehicle Retrieval System. Vehicle selected. Stand by. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. Following location, okay. Hangar 01. Hangar 01. Did I spawn a reclaimer? Did I misclick? Sometimes you are misclicking here. Okay, I thought Hangar 01 is a small hangar. Obviously, it's not a small hangar. Yeah, I mean, CRG makes money. 2022 best year in funding by huge margin. So why should they care? Oh, I love this game too. And I want, it, I want this game to succeed. This game has a lot of potential. Just two days ago, we were talking about engineers. For example, one day we will be able to repair our bigger ships, even in battle, and then a good engineer, a good Scotty or a good Jordi LaForge might actually be very useful for your ship. But I, don't, I just don't see it anytime soon. With anytime soon, I mean not in the next five years. I don't think most of the money is going to Squadron 42. I don't think that Squadron 42 will be a big success money-wise because most people already bought it and... Okay, let me, let me say something. I don't like consoles, but CRG should make a console port for Squadron 42. Otherwise, they won't make a lot of money with it, I would think. I don't know if a game like Squadron 42 could be played with consoles, with very limited keys. I don't know if it's if it's a vanity project of Chris, Scott of 42. Actually, I want to play it too. If I, I think it can be a fantastic game. I enjoyed the Wing Commander games, for example. But yeah, for the most part, I'm looking more towards, more forward to the universe. Ah, okay, uh, I was wondering, Toby is still on. I think there are some space games where you actually have something like an engineer. Okay, I ask for permission to start. Okay, clear to launch. 
You love the ship. I don't love the ship. I mean, I like in, inter, internal layout. Internal layout of the ship is really good. But I cannot exactly say that I love the ship. Interior is very good. I don't trust this. I should now be able to strafe up, not in VTOL mode, right? I don't trust it. <laughs> okay, I'm getting some altitude and then we'll try if I can fly, Please visit not in VTOL mode. Let's get some altitude. No, no, no flicker. I don't bring this strange skin. I have, for whatever reason, I have two st I have two reclaimers. I don't even know why I have two reclaimers. Okay, I try now if I can strafe up. Not in VTOL mode. Or if I fall down. Do I gain altitude? Okay, Flicker, it works. Chat, it works. You can you can now gain altitude even if you are not in VTOL mode. In the past, you had to stay in VTOL mode, otherwise you would just crash down. Okay, that's that's good to know. If CRG doesn't make a console port for Squadron 42, then they won't make a lot of money because most people already bought this game. Most PC gamers. Okay, there will be new people, of course, still. I'm not a fan of consoles either, but you have to you have to admit that you can make a lot more money with console games. Okay, Flicker, I am now at 8000 meters. I can gain altitude even when not in VTOL mode. That's new. I like this. This makes the ship a lot better. Yeah, but self status is still broken. Okay, you have to find somewhere to jump to soon. Okay, I'm, I'm just going via Everest. My, 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 my problem with consoles is, can you even, can you even make a console part of this game? I mean, you need so many hotkeys. Yes, you can buy a keyboard even for your console, but most people don't buy a keyboard for their consoles. Okay, you have to find a sweet spot where I get calibration. I'm getting scanned, Flicker. I'm getting scanned by an NPC. This is so immersive. Where are you, by the way? Where are you? 
Why can't I see you, MPC police? Fashion police. No, it's 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 a normal it's a normal reclaimer. Not with this ugly best in best in show skin. It's your normal reclaimer. But it's really nice that you can now lift off and don't need VTOL mode. I like this. Mouse and keyboard will always rule, depends on the game. For example, I'm, I'm a hardcore PC player. But I bought an Xbox controller because for some games you really need an Xbox controller. For example, for Witcher, Witcher 3. You cannot play Witcher 3 with mouse and keyboard. It's, I mean, you can in theory, but it's really bad. So I played Witcher 3 and whenever I was walking around, when I did inventory manipulation, I used mouse and keyboard. When I was fighting, I used Xbox controller which I don't have any problem with, it's fine. There are, there are some games you really need an Xbox controller for, to make it usable. Okay, where's, what's, what is my orientation? Okay, I guess I need to roll. Come on, roll. Did you find a different space or are you still in the same spot, Flicker? Okay, I cannot, I can see shit. I don't want to crash this thing. Take it slow. Yeah, I heard this. Callisto protocol doesn't run on PC. Oh, it runs very terribly on PC. But it's not a great game anyway, so I don't care much. I watched, I don't know if you watch, I watched Gorm's YouTube playthrough of Callisto Protocol and he mentioned that he had to use his Xbox. Okay, I'm falling. Why am I falling? I'm strafing up. Flicker, I'm falling. I'm hitting the ground. I don't know why, I was strafing up. Maybe you need VTOL mode when you are closer to the ground. Okay, I guess I didn't take damage. Like I guess I didn't take damage, but I was hitting the ground. I couldn't keep altitude. Maybe you need to be in VTOL mode when you are closer to the ground. Proximity assist. I don't think I have it on. Where can I see if I have it on? I mean, uh, it's it's not it's a ship. The ship is uh, uh, is. Uh, the ship isn't exactly <laughs> very itchy. Maybe you need, okay, I try to use VTOL mode. Maybe you need VTOL mode when you, yeah, okay. So, okay, it's a lie. It's a lie that you can fly the ship now without VTOL mode. When you are closer to the ground, you still need VTOL mode. In VTOL mode, I can fly easily. I can keep altitude, but with, without VTOL mode, I was crashing down, even though I was strafing up, I was strafing up max.
don't think I took any damage. So you still need to be in V-turn mode when you are closer to the ground. I mean, I mean, I, I wasn't. <coughs> sorry, I wasn't hitting the ground hard. It was a very soft touch, but I'd, I strafed max up, and I couldn't keep altitude. Again, come on, come on, strafe up. Okay, I, I don't know what this thing is doing. Okay, she is still <laughs> very hard to control. Yes, yet she changed it. You can now actually get altitude. You can now actually get altitude even if you are not in V-turn mode. But if you are closer to the ground, you have to be in V-turn mode. I just learned this. And now I have to constantly strafe up a little bit just to keep altitude. When I'm going to neutral strafe up, I'm falling down. Yeah, you have to strafe up a little bit. I have to strafe up a little bit so that I don't fall down. Yeah, I cannot be in neutral. I have to strafe up, so this is not very good yet. And try to find the sweet spot where I don't lose altitude. It's, it's very hard to find. Flicker, I need to get uh, halfway stable. I'm still strafing up. It's about one third strafe up, just to keep alt. I mean, I mean, I gain altitude. I think this is as uh, this this must work. This should work. Okay, where is your tank? I'm strafing up, and I still hit the ground. Okay, this is shit. Tracker road, I should kill my light. You cannot, yeah, I cannot keep her on the level. Okay, maybe it's because I was pointing down. When I point down, okay, we have to we have to do it like this. Now we have reclaimer. Fire when ready, flicker. One. Two. Three hits, three hits. And it's a soft death, it's not a kill. Okay, let's take a look at the damage state of Reclaimer and Soft Kill. Doors still work. Elevators still work. Find the space tracker. There is an old interview with Sandy. It's from 2000. 
2017, I think, 2016 or 2017, where Sandy is talking about a console port of Squadron 42. So they are thinking about this. Reclaimer has three size three shields, not two. Reclaimer has three size three shields. By the way, I cannot call this elevator, or can I? Okay, now it comes. Actually, it doesn't look that interesting, soft dev. It just looks like your normal ship in damaged state. Okay, Flicker, what's, what's next? What ship is next? Okay, I'm ahead. I don't know if you know this person, Nicole, Nicole D'Angelo. She has a YouTube channel and she has an interview with Sandy. It's from 2.16 or 2.17, and Sandy is talking about a console port of Squadron 42. Nicole D'Angelo. Some people might know her name. But I guess it will be rough for a console port because you don't have a lot of keys on your controller. Or people really have to use a keyboard too. But most people don't want. They want to sit on their couch and play with their controllers. I don't know if it's a potential thing now, friendly space tracking. But Sandy talked to Nicole D'Angelo. She has, she has a YouTube channel, Nicole D'Angelo. And Sandy talked about a console port. This was in 2016 or 2017. Not about Star Citizen console port, about the Squadron 42 console port. Okay, I'm on the way to the spaceport. Flicker has to wait all the time. <laughs> Sorry, Flicker. <laughs> and thanks, thanks for the for all the help, Flicker. I mean, like I mentioned, I'm not a fan of consoles, but they have their place, and if you want to make money. I don't think it's a bad idea to have a console port as long as a console port doesn't doesn't interfere with the PC game. But I don't like a lot of games that are made for consoles and then later ported to PCs have bad controls. For example, you have a selection wheel. I don't need a selection wheel on my PC because I have keypads. This is something I don't like. On the other hand, there's still a lot of time to work on a console port. Flicker, do you want the ugly or the beautiful hammerhead skin? Flicker wrote, Flicker wants the ugly hammerhead skin, okay. By the way, this time I had mouse look after reviving. That's really a strange bug. Welcome to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. CHG cares about ships because it's their main source of income, which I can understand. They need to make money. So if you if you don't care about ship about, about ships, Chris cares about ships. 
Yeah, so there's, there's one selection wheel in Star Citizen. It's not good. Yeah, it's not good. I don't, I, I don't like selection wheels. I know why consoles are doing it. But if, if a game is ported to PC from console, I don't want selection wheels. I hate them. I have a, I have a key. I have 102 keys on my keyboard. I don't need a selection wheel. Yeah, inventory has a selection wheel, I think. No, no not this one. Other one. Was it four? I think it was four. Yeah. So there will be a pause key soon enough. No, pause key and multiplayer? I don't think he will have a pause key. Okay, here's your ugly, I think 2000, was it 19? Best in show scan. The pause, pause key is 30k, okay. Don't jinx it. No one should name this thing. Don't jinx it. Don't call its name. At least, Flecker, we got a few things done today, at least. But I was surprised about Reclaimer too. Hammerhead might be more kills, might be more hits. Crash to desktop are fun too, yes, yeah, very much fun. Good thing is we have now this recovery, which usually works, which is nice. By the way, Hammerhead has one of the slowest seats in the game. Okay, it's now faster because in this PDU patch, in this PDU patch animations are missing. You are flicker, flicker. You not, you notice this too, right? You are teleporting onto seats in this patch. Yeah, Flickr notices too. Actually, I like this. <laughs> Actually, I find this a lot more immersive to teleport on your seat instead having to watch the same slow animation all the time. I'd rather teleport onto my seat. I don't even find teleporting onto seats immersion breaking because we are used to from other games. Okay, here you have, here have your butt ugly best in show skin. We are ready. Guess is on the hammerhead. At least four, maybe five. How much? I mean, hammerhead has 295,000 hit points. How much is the front? Do you know how many hit points hammerhead front has? 80k, so roughly we have five shots, something like this, maybe seven, but but you never know. I was able to destroy a hammerhead with four size five torpedoes aimed at the top, so there can be some very strange things happening. It's especially annoying. HP crack because it's so inconsistent. Some ships, for example, Caterpillar and Corsair have a very very fast animation. It takes like three seconds to get out of a Caterpillar or out of Corsair seat. Three seconds is fine, but Hammerhead, I think it's 17 seconds, 14 seconds or 17 seconds to get out of Hammerhead seat, which is really bad. 
Okay, I have to find where I calibrate. Okay, I have to put it like this to calibrate. Do we want to fire at the? Do we want to shoot at the front flicker? Why not? I mean, make it consistent, even though it might take more shots. Okay, front. Okay, you have to. If you're aiming like this and you don't calibrate, you have to aim like this. No, come on. Yeah, okay, and now you have to aim your crosshair, and then you can calibrate. Okay. Okay, hammerhead is 12 seconds from seat. Caterpillar and Corsair are, are 3.5, I think. Which is fine. 3.5 seconds is fine. But 12 seconds is really <laughs> annoying. Some are still bad. HB crack, for example, 300i ticks. And what's, what's really bad is Talon. <laughs> you, you can click on Talon, enter pilot seat, then you can go into the kitchen and make some coffee. It's just too much inconsistencies. I mean, uh, you can say, okay, it's okay, uh, it takes a little bit longer, what's the deal? What if someday someone enters your ship and you have to get out of your seat quickly, but you have to wait for this stupid fucking <laughs> animation and he kills you? You cannot even throw a gun while seated. You know, you know the thing in Aliens 2 where the pilot of the top ship is trying, where she is trying to pull her gun when Alien went into the cockpit. She could pull her gun when she was seated. In this game, you cannot even pull your gun when you are seated. HP Crack, it's exactly like this. Every team is working on his own. There is very little coordination between those teams. Okay, I can see shit here. I wish it would be daylight flicker, so I could look at my reclaimer rack. Racks have no collision. Before this patch, racks didn't have collision, but it's not consistent. Some parts still don't have collision. Am I too high, flicker? Really hard to judge. Can you can you see me? I didn't use my lights. I wrote hard to see you. Can you get my target? I'm coming in front of your tank. Okay, Flicker wrote this is okay. I tried to get her to stop. Come on, stop. And I'm pointing at you. Or maybe I'm pointing a little bit up. Okay. I'm still putting my shield on the right side. Now we have a hammerhead. Let's see how this goes. Fire when ready, flicker. One. Two. Three. 
3, shield front 18. 4, shield front 16. 5, shield front 15. 6 shots. Did I say 6? I think I said 6, right? I said 5 or 6, something like this. Yeah, her front has 80,000 hit points. You have to deal with those 80,000 hit points first. Is this what you expected, Flicker? Almost one shot for each crew member. Flicker expected seven. Yeah, we have a lot of inconsistencies with this damage model. Okay, what ship is next? Quick loot him. No, I survived. I survived because it was a soft death. <laughs> I survived. But you can salvage this thing now. Carrick, okay? You can shoot at the front of the Karak, you just cannot aim at the ramp. I have to point a little bit down to you, then you can shoot at the cockpit, and this is fine. I guess Karak will not be as much as Hammerhead. Hammerhead has 80,000 hit points at her front. Okay, I revived uh, again. I have mouse lock. Ah, by the way, something I find funny. Recently, we had this problem that there was no oxygen, no atmosphere in the med bay. I revived and I died. But the funny thing is, there was the medical bed had oxygen. So the medical, the medical bed had an oxygen atmosphere, but the room didn't have one. Please explain this to me. <laughs> Eager to return to your job? Don't let your I wonder how easy it is to disable tourists in this patch. I mean, there's a lot of things I want to test, and I wouldn't mind testing this too. Okay, Flicker, I have to bug again that I don't see displays. I don't see elevator display. I can click blindly. Yeah, I have to relock. I had this. I had this the other day too. Sometimes you don't get any prompts. Welcome to the Maria Pira Part Hospital, a non-profit. It doesn't doesn't make sense to even go to the spaceport because I won't get any prompts for entering seats. Yeah, for the space dragon, I wonder how easy it is to disable turrets too. There are so many things I want to test, but for most of those things, I really have to wait for stable 3.18 patch. Yeah, I was just being mean. <laughs> it's <laughs> I was just being mean. I mean, actually. I would love to have an atmospheric room system because it opens opportunities. You can, for example, you can depressurize the room when you are get boarded. Okay, the, the guy who can board you can still have masks. They can still wear spacesuits, but it opens gameplay opportunities. I just don't see how CRG can get this to work, especially since many ships are not built, are not built for an atmospheric room system in the first place. Now I see a field of stars. But funny enough, one of the oldest ships in the game, Constellation, is built with an atmospheric room system in mind. The front elevator hasn't built an airlock. It's not perfect, it's not tall enough, but this can be easily addressed. Look, I have this problem that I have a black background with blinking stars. I might have to totally restart. 
not only this, from the space check, it's not only hard to test with those current conditions, things might also change. For example, I don't think that CHA will go through with the 70% ballistic shield penetration to life. I don't think this will make it to life. Many ships are really terribly, terribly designed, but some ships are okay. I think the climber is okay. Interior layout. Maybe, maybe but I guess CRT won't go back to 2 and 5%. They might go something like 20%, which isn't good. I mean, I'm all for, for example, I'm all for missile torpedoes doing a bit more damage because many of them don't do enough damage. But if CRG does this, we need all the other things too first, I think. Okay, I'm trying to get onto your server, Flickr. I'm joining your server. Yeah, you have this bug when you die. Sometimes you don't get any prompts and sometimes you don't get mouse look. <laughs> I mean, if CRG, if Chris wants an atmospheric room system, be my guest. I would love to see this. On the other hand, maybe it's a better idea just to put magical air shields into all ships and call it done. Exactly like this. Hebrick wrote, sometimes it feels like CHG balancing is with a baseball bat, just swing around, hoping to get something to work. Yeah, it feels like this, and this is, this is my major concern with this, ship, uh, with this game. We are on year 11, CHG should have a pretty good idea how ship combat, how flight model should be, but they don't, it doesn't look like they have a pretty good idea, and this concerns me. Okay, I'm back in the game flicker. I'm going to the spaceport. Now I have prompts again. Elevator not loading. Okay, interior not loading. Try again. Now it's loaded. Come on. Exteriors are still not loading in quickly enough. Yeah, many changes are in direct opposition from each other and many changes are actually step backwards. Let's talk about one of my favorite subjects, Kravlev. John Bridges 3.1.4 Kravlev was not perfect. We had some bugs, we had some problems, but it was really, really good. It was, it was really, really fun. Then came the new flight model in 3.5. And since 3.5, Kravlev was shit. Then came the rework in 3.16, and Kravlev is still shit. It's one thing if things take longer, okay? Nice it's a very stop. ambitious Please project, things forward. take longer. But it's a totally different thing if some things were really good at the, in the past, and now they are shit. <laughs> this is something... I don't like this. I would even argue that ship combat and flight model was better in 2.5. More fun. It was not perfect, but it was more fun now to me. Arriving. TISA spaceport. Please watch your step when disembarking the train. 
Flickr has to wait all the time. Sorry, Flickr. I don't know. Are you watching something? YouTube? Or <laughs> okay, Flickr is multitasking. Okay, I'm getting now a Carrack. Ah, by the way, I can, I can show you Carrack elevators. Carrack elevators, the smaller elevators are broken. Which, which, actually, which is actually quite funny. Another thing. I made a video about this. We had a landing radar before 3.0. You could land on a dime in first person view because we had landing radar. Gone since 3.0. None of those things. We had things that were, were much better in the past and they were replaced with nothing. Come on, Lord. I don't I don't care if Yogi said in December he wanted shield penetration. Why does he want it? And why does he want it without a decent damage model, without armor, without being able to repair bigger ships, without escape pods, without parachutes? It doesn't make sense. If CRG wants to have a very high ballistic sheet penetration, then please work on the other things first. Yes, he said he, he said they just have to change five parameters. Okay, this elevator is broken. No, I know they said they just have to change five parameters. Uh, Flickr, <laughs> Kerak elevator works now. I, do, I still don't trust this, okay? I mean, there was no new patch and now this mini elevator works. This is strange. But I don't trust it. I'm using the main elevator because I know this one works. I mean, seriously, luckily I had videos from 2.6 and I had a video where I was landing at Cryastro to repair and refuel my ship. And you could land on the spot in first person view. And it was, it was actually well designed. It was totally easy to use. You just pressed N and landing radar popped up where your normal radar is. There was a line. A visible line that showed you where the center of the landing pad is, a holotrum line, and you could just line up in first person view without any trouble. And this is gone since 3.0. Nowadays you usually have to use third person view. And this is something I find disheartening when we had things in the past that were much that were much better. I mean, 3.0 is by now how many years ago? Five years? Okay, five years ago we had a very good landing radar. A very useful landing radar.
You, you can die of first in 90 minutes if your character is running. 90 minutes, okay? I mean, how is this immersive? I don't die of first in 90 minutes in real life, even if I'm running. I mean, I guess they want to make it something you have to do, otherwise it wouldn't be worth it to have it in the game. Let's say if you only have to drink like every 24 hours, then why even have it? But that's exactly my point. Why even have it? Does it increase my immersion if I have to drink every two hours? And the funniest thing is, you cannot drink when you're having a helmet on. Now, yeah, I have this original Chris interview. I have this saved. He said it's a small buff. He didn't talk about dying. And the funny thing is, NASA figured out how to eat and drink wearing a full spacesuit and a helmet in the 60s. For example, U2 pilots flying very long missions and they can eat liquid food, liquid food and drink using wearing a full spacesuit. But CHE cannot figure it out. I'm really, so I'm really sad that, that we didn't have Sinotred this year because I wanted to see a lot of Spectrum postings with people in single-seater ships. I have to learn to drink. Can you please fix this? But we didn't have Sinotred this year, so it didn't come up. If you don't know this, you might want to Google it, you might want to watch a YouTube video. The helmet of U2 pilots and of astronauts can, has an opening, a valve, a valve built in, where you can put through a straw. How is this called? Straw. Then you can drink and eat while wearing a full spacesuit. And the other, other bad thing is, you can, you can die of first in ships that have sinks, <laughs> okay? <laughs> you can easily die of first in a ship with many sinks, because don't work. Those don't work yet. Tube, okay, a straw tube, a tube, okay, flicker, flicker, rod tube. Yes, you have to. I mean, those those U2 missions were like eight hours, ten hours, something like this. I mean, they not only drink, they only could, they could also pee inside inside their ship. Extra ten dollars for a straw, <laughs> Captain Mustard. You can try. It. Yeah, exactly. You can you can die of first. Flick out what you can die of first in ships with a head and with things. You can have things, you can still die of first. I guess the water in the sink is poisonous or something, so you shouldn't use it. Looks like we have no daylight flicker, right? Yeah, the funny thing is, there's this one. Chris Roberts interview, I have saved it, I wanted to make a video, where he talks about this, he talks about, he doesn't even talk about drinking, he only talks about eating, and he said, you might get a small buff when you eat, which I totally agree with, but nowadays, you are dying in 90 minutes if you don't drink and if you are running, it's a bit different from having a small buff when you eat. I wouldn't mind if he would get small baths if he eat and drink, but I don't want to die in 90 minutes in a game because I didn't drink. HP crack roads, yeah, 1000 things I would rather see in the game than food and drink. Yeah, but this is exactly the thing, the things Chris love. This is fluff. This is immersive. This is fidelity. Those are exactly the things Chris loves so much. I 
I don't know, but I'm I'm I want to make a video about this. Now some people some people might say, yeah, his vision changed, maybe. But many people backed this game because of his vision. This was in one of the ten for the Sta for the Shareman episodes. So many people back the game because of his vision. When his vision changed, then he should at least give those people the, op the option to get their money back. <coughs> what, do you <coughs> what do you mean, Carrick? Figure wrote the trap on the Carrick. You cannot see me? I'm 500 meters in front of you. I'm coming a bit closer. Chris loves fidelity, but Chris loves his idea of fidelity, which is drinking and fluff. I still like Chris. I have nothing against Chris. I don't hate Chris. Okay, I'm pointing a little bit down so you can hit the top of the bridge. Flicker wrote Chris wants baffle stomping. Hey, it's gotten. Hey, it's gotten daylight. Now we have a Kenrick. Fire when ready, Flicker. One, shield front 22. Two, shield front 20. Three, shield front 18. Four, shield front 17. Five shots. And again, not a kill. It's a soft death. I think five shots was to be expected. Yeah, I mean, I okay, it's, there are things I really love in this patch. I love that drags are not disappearing anymore. I love that drags have at least some clipping now, some collision. I love soft death. I think, I think soft death is one of the best things ever, but it's not new. Chris always wanted to have it, and I'm very happy that we have no soft death. I like this so much. So it's not all bad. I mean, seriously, if we wouldn't have soft death, why even have escape pods and ability to repair your ship one fine day? <laughs> I want to get outside, I want to look at the racks a bit. <laughs> and Hammerhead is, is holding up. Okay, Hammerhead is lying. Yeah, those trees are holding the big Hammerhead rack. This must, this must be very strong trees. Look at those trees holding a whole Hammerhead. In the past, Rex didn't have collision, and look how this thing is moving around. This thing should still have a lot of mass and would never move around like this. Yeah, I think soft dev is one of the best things ever happening to the game in the last five years. What do you think? Hammerhead has 4.2 million kilograms. Yeah, this tree can hold 4.2 million kilograms. Well, actually, just just the leaves. That's so funny. I guess this is material for another outro.
The claimer is moving around too. Cut as black will be a one shot kill, I guess. We can do a caterpillar. But I want to take a look at those racks. Maybe a caterpillar and call it a day. It's getting late here. Yeah, those racks are chittering around. I guess because they don't lay flat on the ground. And they shouldn't chitter like this. But this looks... This looks okay, this looks nice, this looks good enough in my book. I don't need more fidelity, this looks good enough. Yeah, in the past, Rex didn't have collisions, you have no collision. Which is nice. I'm looking a bit at those racks because I find it really interesting, Flicker. Sorry, I'm wasting a bit of time. I'm suiciding back and get a caterpillar and then call it a day for now. Seriously, this looks good enough in my book. I don't need more fidelity for racks. It's fine. I mean, they shouldn't chatter around, but something CIT can fix later. And yeah, I really like soft dev. Do you like soft dev, chat? Flicker, do you, do you like soft dev? Flicker wrote soft dev is interesting. Yeah, actually, yeah. It be cracked road. It shouldn't have taken so long. Yeah, I agree. I mean, <laughs> soft dev, uh, soft dev looks like Welcome something that could be done from the start. Shouldn't look like something that should be very hard to implement. Why do you think soft dev is goaded, Sereno? I cannot wait until we can actually repair our bigger ships. Maybe your ship is in soft dev and you can do then some repairs and can get away or something like this. But this means it must be quick. If it takes like five minutes to repair your ship, not a chance. Yeah, she actually has the most beautiful hospitals I've ever seen. Yeah, hospitals, what is your goal when you are awake in a hospital? Your goal, um, my goal is to get out ASAP. <laughs> so why do we need beautiful hospitals? Because fidelity, because grace. Okay, lack of gravity is your favorite. How is this in space? Let, let's say you have a ship and soft dev in space, then you don't have gravity. You have to move around using the thrusters on your spacesuit? Flecker, this is something we should actually do. I mean, not, not now, but it's something I really would like to do. So if a ship is in space and it has soft dev, you have to use the thrusters on your ship? Yeah, you only need to spend five seconds in such. A beautiful hospital. Flicker wrote, yes, you are float inside your suit. Is it like, what is this? Um, we had this one detective mission that didn't have gravity either. What was this? Is it, is it as bad as in this one detective mission? PI mission, yeah. There was no gravity either. Is this is movement as bad as this? 
Okay, ships are harder to navigate. But you can navigate if you're using the thrusters on your spacesuit, right? Okay, EVA inside the ship. This is something, okay, this is something I really want for the test too. I have so many ideas. And I have, I have to work tomorrow and have two weeks of vacation. I guess I will try a few things. Yes, you would, you would need access to components. I mean, many ships already have components, but I don't know yet how we are supposed to repair those. And if we can, for example, remove a power plant and put in a different power plant, I have no idea. Vehicle selected. Stand by. All of our landing areas are currently full. Please hold for assignment. Your vehicle All has been delivered to the current location. location. Please Stand by. Okay. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle. Okay, I didn't know that you can remove components in a terrapin. But still, you cannot replace them. I mean, you don't have spare components lying around. So there must be some way to repair those. I guess it will be some kind of mini game. Will, do we have to play a mini game? So I guess so. Flicker, I get an, get an error message when I try to spawn my caterpillar. All pets are full, position in queue zero. Maybe because I spawned too many ships? No, I, I want... C2, I, I, already, did, I already did a Hercules C2 flicker. It's already done. I want a, I want a caterpillar. So you, you didn't watch my video flicker. I did a C2 in today's video. I try to spawn the other caterpillar. Okay, I can spawn. I can spawn the other caterpillar. What is CIS? I spawned a caterpillar, but it doesn't say. It doesn't tell me. <laughs> it doesn't tell me what Welcome pad. To the Five nineteen meters. System. My caterpillar is spawned in operai, in operai flicker. What? Okay, I try to spawn another caterpillar. Vehicle selected. Stand by. Doesn't make sense. It says 519 meters. This cannot be. Okay, now I have one at hangar 04. Okay, it was just a bit buggy. Hangar 04 caterpillar. Don't like to go into an elevator where someone is already in. Might want to sneak onto my ship. There are sub components that you replace. Yeah, but then you need then you need uh, then you need also a spot where you store those sub components. I guess we will we will we will get a spot where those subcomponents are stored. I mean, I seriously think that repairing, engineering, can be very interesting if CHG does it right. It can actually be a lot of fun. Don't have a spacesuit, I don't think. I, okay, let's just be sure. There might be some areas without atmosphere. Getting a spacesuit. Some ships have areas without atmosphere. Don't care.
a flicker, I'm getting in into my caterpillar. This seat is very quick. Now it's even quicker with those, with those missing animations. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the actually couldn't have started with engineering. Hip correct road engineering should have been one of the first things she achieved. did. They couldn't have started with it. They didn't have anything in the past. I mean, they still don't have everything. And a lot of ships need reworks because not every ship has component base. But this can be actually, this can be very interesting to be an engineer on a bigger space ship if you are doing a good job and so. Okay, why? Okay, another ship that doesn't want to lift off. Look, it's lifting off, then it's clued to the ground. Then you have to wait. I can boost a bit, which doesn't do anything. And then she will lift off. Some ships are clued to the ground. No, she's lifting off. I think turret gameplay is okay, multi-crew wise. Being the shield monkey might not be the best idea for multi-crew. And being the ship's engineer might be actually quite nice. Okay, I'm, I left spaceport. Flecker, where do we aim? We cannot aim at the front. The door is, I think the door is still indestructible. You have to aim at the side. Yeah, we have to aim at the side. Okay, side near the front, this should work. Yeah, why? Okay, are those doors open? No. What? Chat, does this look like the doors are open? It looks like the doors are open. But when I use third person view, doors are closed. Okay. That's funny. <laughs> I think that's very interesting. When I sit in the cockpit, it looks like doors are open. But in third person view, doors are closed. By the way, the Caterpillar is one of the slowest ships in Atmo. Very, very slow in Atmo. What about the box stacker? This is one of the, sorry, one of the stupidest ideas ever. You have one guy who has to move the cargo boxes in a reclaimer. Actually, you need two guys, I think, because you have two levels. This is one of the stupidest ideas in game. Develop, development in game history ever. Did something break there too? Maybe I guess it's just the display back from the cockpit because those doors are closed. I didn't open those doors. So it must be just the display back. Or maybe it's not open. This doesn't look like the doors are open. This does look like I'm looking into interior of the ship. This is not your normal structure. So it those doors might just be transparent from the cockpit seat, but they are still closed. I guess Tresna again, Everest again. It's some culling bug here, yeah, something like this. Doors are closed, but it only looks like they are open. Now... 
Okay, Caterpillar, then I guess I will call it a day. It's getting late for me. Sometimes I wonder, eight years from now, how far this game will be in eight years. Do we have Pyro in eight years? I think so. I even think we might have four or five star systems in eight years. This game has a lot of potential. Well, just, you have to lower your expectations. <laughs> I mean, my expectations by now, time-wise, are very, very low. But it's fine. CHE takes their time, and I don't, I don't buy a lot of ships anymore. This year, I spent less than $100 on Star Citizen. So I can live with this. And it's good, good for content. If this continues like this, there is, there is content for years to come. I don't expect Pyro next year. By the way, I watched my 2021 Christmas video. In 2021, on Christmas, I said, maybe we get Pyro next year. And now I think, okay, you were really funny. <laughs> you were really funny last Christmas, 21. Do you really thought we would might get Pyro in 2022? You were so funny. You were so cute. <laughs> that's not a, that's another thing. Maybe maybe I die. I mean I'm not that old that, that I should die soon. But you can always have an accident. Maybe maybe I die <laughs> before this game is finished. <laughs> Okay. Do you see me flicker? Do you want to aim at a, at a side of the front? Something like this? I'm behind you. I can strafe over. But if you can just turn your turret, it would be cooler for me, I guess. No, okay, I'm still in. Okay, I have to strafe over because I'm still in Amistad. Okay, I'm strafing over your tank. I was still in Amistad. But let's make it at least unique and use always support side. Not that is not that it matters, but let's be uniform. I mean, in theory, I could also land, but then we wouldn't get a nice soft death thing. Is this okay? Okay, Flicker Road, that's good. Let's level off and zero decrease. Come on, stop. Stop moving. It's hard to find the sweet spots where she stops moving. 
Come on. There was a huge dead zone in the past. Dead zone is now very, very small. Very hard to reach this dead zone. Okay, this looks good. This looks stationary. Okay, Flicker, I found the dead zone. We have now a caterpillar and we have a lot of rags around us. I like those. Okay, Flicker, fire when ready. 22 front. Flicker is not aiming directly at the front because her front is still indestructible. It's a big door. 18. These were only, only four, right? Four shots, Flicker? Yeah, she doesn't have a lot of structure HP. Actually, she has way too low structure HPs. So, four shots for a caterpillar kill. Well, maybe the game can be uh, quote-unquote finished in a very playable state and CRG will still work on this game for many, many years. This I wouldn't, I wouldn't be opposed to this, but it should have the core features finished and we should have more than 10 star systems. I mean, 100 star systems, I don't think we will ever have 100 star systems, at least not in the next 15 years. Okay, I would say I call it a day. It's getting late here. Thank you again very, very much, Flicker, for all your help and all your patience. By the way, I didn't want to mention this because I didn't want to jinx it, but we had a good run after the first two 30Ks. We had a very good run after the first two 30Ks. Well, chat. Thank you very much for keeping us company. I enjoyed this very much. I will call today. Getting late for me, but I will stream again. Have a nice day, have a nice evening, and good night.